Like many other couples, Katie and James looked forward to their wedding day with great anticipation. They spent months planning it to make sure that their big day was absolutely picture perfect. Since they were inviting all of their loved ones, the couple wanted to ensure that their wedding was a day that no one would forget. They even set aside some time that they could spend with their young son, Kalen, so he wouldn't feel excluded or overlooked amid all the excitement. Katie and James opted for an otherwise traditional wedding. They were married in front of a priest in a church, they cut the first slice of cake together, and Katie enjoyed a dance with her father. But later on at the reception, things took a real turn. When it came time for Katie to throw her bouquet, her newly wedded husband was nowhere to be found. She figured he was off somewhere greeting guests and she thought nothing of it. She couldn't have been more wrong. As soon as Katie was done throwing her bouquet, the music cut out and was replaced with the theme from the movie Mission, Impossible. Then, over the microphone, the DJ called out for James to come to the dance floor. What was going on? As if on cue, James appeared out of nowhere. As the music continued to play, he moonwalked out into the center of the room. The couple's friends and family laughed and gathered closer to see what he was up to. As the groom continued to dance to the music, guests noticed something strange. James was wearing what appeared to be a headlamp, along with a pair of dark sunglasses. This was not typical wedding reception attire. What did he have planned? Suddenly, it became clear that James was a man with a plan. It was time for the final tradition of the night, during which the groom removes his bride's garter. Except this groom didn't plan on doing it in a way that was anywhere close to being traditional. With a dramatic flourish, James pressed a button on his headlamp, illuminating it for the whole crowd to see. After performing a couple more of his signature dance moves, he leapt over to his bride and stuck his head right beneath her dress. Nobody, not even Katie, could believe what James was scheming. Luckily, the bride seemed amused enough by her new husband's antics. But then things got even stranger, and it started to feel like he was spending a little too much more time under her skirt. Just when things started to become uncomfortable for the reception guests, come on, get a room. They heard murmuring from beneath Katie's skirt. It sounded like James had discovered something totally unexpected in his wife's dress. James darted back out from under the fabric and held something white over his head. Was it the garter? Nope. In fact, it was much too large to be a garter. People were scrambling to see what James was holding, so he did his best to make sure everyone got a peek. Oh, it was a giant stained pair of white underwear. The entire crowd burst out laughing. Luckily, they weren't the only ones who thought it was funny, Katie did too. James, meanwhile, dove right back under her dress. He wasn't done yet. This time when James emerged from under Katie's dress he was wearing a look of disgust, and he had a tampon dangling from his mouth. The crowd completely broke into hysterics. Nobody thought that James was capable of doing something like this. But this goofy hubby was just getting started. What on earth would he dare to pull out next? Everyone was desperate to know, especially Katie herself. She wondered just where her new husband was going with this. If he wasn't careful, he might end up in the doghouse. Finally, James's head popped back out and the crowd erupted. This time he had pulled two identical baby dolls from beneath his wife's wedding dress. The joke had reached its crescendo and now it was time to do what he was supposed to do in the first place. With great dramatic flair, James went back under his bride's skirts and finally emerged seconds later with the garter between his teeth. Everyone applauded for him, even Katie. She had to be at least a little bit relieved her husband's silly gag was over. While the removing of the garter is a tradition that's a little silly today, as evidenced by James's antics, it actually has very old origins. The first recorded instance of a garter being removed at a wedding was in the Dark Ages. It's amazing how we carry some traditions forward. After successfully finding the garter, James stood with his back to the room and tossed the garment into the crowd of single men. 
Of course, according to Lure, it's believed that the man who catches it will be the next one to get married. Certain brides would have been mortified by James's behavior, but Katie loved every single second of it. It was clear that these two were quite the match, and their hilarious take on a traditional wedding reception was just proof of that.